What's going on, yo? It's your boy Ezru, and I'm back again with another one. I need you guys to do me a favor, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, the notification icon for more videos like this. That being said, let's get into it. Emmanuel Navarrete defeats Oscar Valdez via unanimous decision in a fight that was very exciting. Um, I was actually glued to the TV. Um, Oscar Valdez. He was waiting for Emmanuel Navarrete to slow down. And Navarrete never slowed down. He just he started he started off hot and he finished hot. The man threw over a, a thousand punches, bro. The first round he threw like 75 punches. And Oscar Valdez just had no answers. And when Oscar Valdez couldn't hurt him, I knew the fight was over because Oscar Valdez probably went into this fight thinking he could knock him out because I think I kind of did see Navarrete hurt when he fought for the title, when he fought for the vacant title. Was it his last fight? But I seen him hurt, though, in that fight he fought for the title. I forgot who he fought, but he won the fight. It was, it was a closer fight than this fight. I thought Navarrete won this fight very convincingly. Um, he won this fight because of his output. He threw more punches than Oscar. He landed more punches than Oscar. Oscar did land some clean telling shots, but those were counter punches. Against a guy like Navarrete, you need to do more than just one or two counters. You got you got to uh, you got to control the fight too with your jab. Uh, Oscar just didn't have a jab. I don't know what Eddie Reynoso is teaching these guys. I did not like how Oscar Valdez fought this fight. He went in there thinking he was the bigger puncher. He was going to go in there and knock out Navarrete. But he looked like he was more hurt than Navarrete. Navarrete never looked hurt once in this fight. He was just walking through Oscar Valdez's punches. Oscar Valdez was landing vicious body shots. But nothing seemed to shake Navarrete. I mean, when the fight was over, Navarrete looked like he wasn't even in the fight. Oscar Valdez's eyes were shut. I mean, it was just, it was just ridiculous, bro. Like, I feel like Oscar Valdez needs to go back to the drawing board. And he needs to work on a jab. He needs, uh, he needs a volume jab. Because he does not throw no jabs. All he does is try to counter you. You know, if if he fights like that a lot, he's going to lose a lot. He's going to lose. I'm surprised he haven't lost that, that many punches. He fought the same way against Shakur Stevenson. Shakur Stevenson just picked him apart. He didn't throw no jabs. He was just trying to land. He didn't throw no jabs against Shakur Stevenson, bro. He was just trying to land counter punches, bro. And it's the same thing he did with Navarrete. And Navarrete was just walking through his punches. He couldn't even hurt Navarrete. I didn't see Navarrete buzz one time in this fight. Like, Navarrete won, like, three or four rounds straight. And then Oscar finally won a round. And then I think he won the round after that, too. Oscar won the round. But then Navarrete came back and was just killing Oscar with this jab. Look at this jab. He could have won the fight just off a jab, bro. He was just killing Oscar Valdez with a jab. This was, a, it was built as an all-time Mexican war. But I'm not gonna lie, it was a one-sided domination by um, Emmanuel Navarrete. He just dominated this fight, and after the fight, he looked like he wasn't even in the fight. Oscar Valdez's eyes were shut. I mean, I don't know, man. Eddie Nabrinoso, he got to teach Oscar Valdez to use a jab, bro. You know, you can't just let Navarrete control your fighter the entire fight with a jab. And it's not, his jab is not even all that. It's like a, it's a basic jab, bro. 
Oscar Valdez get beat with a basic jab, bro. That's embarrassing. It wasn't like no power jab and nothing. He was just, he was just touching Oscar, just letting his hands go, pretty much. I think Navarrete goal was just to let his hands go, just touch Oscar as much as he can. And that's what he did, man. He, he just touched Oscar at will. I mean, Oscar showed some real good defense when he was fighting off the back foot, but that left uppercut, Navarrete would throw the jab and then, and then slip. If Oscar would have threw a jab, he would slip Oscar jab and come with that left uppercut. And then come over the top with a with a left hook. I mean, he was hitting Oscar so hard he hurt his right hand. <laughs> but the crazy thing is, he's a true Mexican warrior. Even though he hurt his right hand, he was still letting his hands go. So shout out to Navarrete, man. He won me as a fan tonight. From the way he fought Oscar Valdez after the fight, the axe. They ask uh, Navarrete, do you want to run this fight back? He says, it's up to the fans. If the fans want to see it again, why not? Me personally, I don't think they need to run it back. I think it will be the same result. The reason why I think it will be the same result, because Oscar couldn't hurt Navarrete. If he could have hurt him at least one time in this fight, then I think... He might have a shot. But if you can't hurt this man, and this man just keep coming forward, there's no way you're going to win the fight, you know? Now, what I'd say, he just kept coming forward. Oscar couldn't even hurt him. I didn't see Oscar hurt this guy one time. And that's the crazy thing. I seen Now, what look like he was hurt when he fought for the championship, when he fought for the vacant belt. I forgot who he fought, but he looked like he was hurt in that fight couple of times but um Oscar just couldn't hurt him and I'm surprised going into this fight I'm not gonna lie to y'all I thought Oscar was gonna gonna clip Navarrete probably stop him but it was a different story man Navarrete he proved me wrong he went in there and he did what he had to do dominate this fight from round one to round twelve an impressive performance. Great Mexican fight. These dudes got heart. They put on the show tonight. Oscar tried to do his thing, but Navarrete was just too much for him. The volume punching of Navarrete was the ultimate factor. And if they do it again, I'm not betting against Navarrete. But you guys, do me a favor, hit that like button, subscribe button for more videos like this.